nursery. Welcome to our nursery. In our nursery, we're always learning to do things for ourselves. We try, we have a go, and we make friends. We look after all our resources, and we try to take care of them as best we can. The books that we're reading at the moment are all in our library, and after half term, hopefully, you'll be borrowing some of them for um, use at home. But in the classroom, we'll be using books such as Dig 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 In, Train Ride, and Bumper to Bumper this term. And next half term, we'll be using Hungry Caterpillar, The Quiet Cricket, Titch, and lots of other stories about growing and about bugs. Perhaps you'd like to look around our nursery now. Hello, welcome to our role pay area. At the moment, it's a pizza parlour. We're actually simulating making pizzas the same as we are in our cooking. After the Easter break, we will turn the area into a travel agent's. There we'll be talking, reading and writing, creating stories around travel and holidays and acting out real life. We will be working with the resources with purpose so that the children begin to understand what a travel agency is all about. This goes in line with our project of travel and transport. After the Whitson break, it will be a garden centre because our topics will be to do with mini beasts and growth. Uh, each time we set up the role play area, we teach the same things but in different contexts. We're using real life situations so that we can act out things for the children to, get to understand what goes on in these different settings. That's cool now. We try to make it as comfy and cosy as possible so the children relax and choose the books themselves. We've got quite a wide selection and we renew them every so often. We would appreciate if you could encourage reading at home. It's very important for children's learning. Um, round from here we have our creative. Hello, here we are in the creative area. Sam's just having a quick tidy up before the next session come in. You can see from all the resources that we have here that it's a really busy area. Children are always using their imagination to collage, to paint, to create all their amazing ideas they have in their heads. While we're doing our transport topic, we'll be looking at shapes and patterns and what kinds of shapes you have to put together to be able to make a lorry or a car or a bus. We'll be looking at how things move. We're doing junk modelling, so if you've got any spare boxes that you're collecting over Easter, especially those Easter egg packets, then please send them in because children love to cut things up and make things and they'll bring them home and you'll be able to love them forever. Um, other things that we do in the creative area include music, dance and role play. You've already had a look at some of our role play activities. If you've got any ideas or any questions about anything creative then always come in and see us. Welcome to the fine motor table. We do play dough an awful lot. It helps us get our hands nice and strong ready for our writing skills. We squash, we squeeze, we roll, we learn about shape. So we're going to be doing a lot about shape with our transport project, looking at round wheels, square rectangles, triangles, all kinds of things, especially when we come back from our London Eye visit because we'll be looking at all the different shapes we can see and what shapes make all the different kinds of transport. Mrs Swan makes the most excellent play dough. It's a really good resource. It's cheap and very easy to make. If you're interested in finding out what the recipe is, come in and see us. We can soon photocopy it for you. And Mrs. Swan will talk you through every step of making the perfect play dough for home. Hello, here we are in Penguin Science. I just thought I'd talk to you a little bit about our new topic. After the break, we'll be telling you all about transport. You can see we've got a visit planned. We're going to the London Eye. It's a really exciting visit. We go on a coach. We look at all of the sites that we see along the road, we see the Tower of London, we see Big Ben, and then we actually get to go on the London Eye with the children. They really love it. It's an absolutely amazing experience. We have time for our picnic, and then we have loads of time to walk down the Thames and look at the different ways of moving around London. The children have a fantastic time talking about all the experiences they have while they're there. When we come back, we do cooking, we do art, we play in our role play area, all about the things we've done at the London Eye. So if you've got any questions about the visit, come and see as soon as possible but we're all really looking forward to our visit. Another visit we've got coming up after that is when we're doing our mini beast topic we'll be looking at the hungry caterpillar and what happens to him when he's eaten all of that food on a Saturday. And we're going to see the Tropical Wings Centre in Southwood and Ferris. It's brilliant. You walk into a great big greenhouse with loads of butterflies flying around and landing on you. There's lots of other animals as well including Mrs. Sutter's favourite, meerkats. So please come with us as well.